Hello, welcome to John B. The RD, the research desk. Today we'll be talking about how to start a long care business by following these 10 steps. You have found the perfect business idea and now you're ready to take the next step. There's more to starting a business than just registering it with the state. We have put together this simple guide to starting your long care business. These steps will ensure that your new business is well planned out, registered properly, and legally compliant. Step one, plan your business. A clear plan is essential for success as an entrepreneur. It will help you map out the specifics for your business and discover some unknowns. A few important topics to consider are, what are the startup and ongoing costs? Who is your target market? How much can you charge customers? What will you name your business? Luckily, we have done a lot of this research for you. We are, what are the costs involved in opening a long care business? The costs include obtaining a simple business license, equipment, supplies, promotional signage, flyers, business cards, a website, internet connection, and having a pickup truck monthly lease or purchase. You can have very modest liability insurance for this business. However, you will need to put pay for workers compensation insurance if you hire employees. A typical startup budget for an owner operator business with no assistance is under 3000 and consists of a mower, which is $500 trimmer, $200, leaf blower, $200, can tools, $100, gasoline can, $25, oil and gasoline, $20 per tank needed, promotional signage to put on side of the truck, $100 for magnetic signs, flyers, $50, business cards, $25, website creation, free, or $500, internet services, website registration, posting, and internet connection, $50 to $75 per month, insurance, $50 to $200 per month, a pickup truck, lease, nothing down with good credit, $299 per month plus $100 per month for insurance. What are the ongoing expenses for a lawn care business? The ongoing expenses include labor costs, truck, equipment maintenance, and operating expenses. A typical, a typical monthly expense budget for a small operating operation with a home-based office rent-free would be labor per assistant, minimum wage up to $15 per hour, Employee taxes is 7.65%, up to about 15% of the wages paid, depending on the state. Telephone slash internet connection, $50 to $100 per month. Promotional flyers slash business cards is $75 per month. Insurance costs, $50 to $200 per month. A truck, $299 per month. Truck insurance, $100 per month. Gas, $200 per month. Equipment maintenance, $50 per month. Who is the target market? Long-term customers who are willing to sign up for ongoing automatic payments are the best. These customers allow you to plan your budget far in advance. Local businesses can also be excellent customers as they typically are willing to pay more for your services than residential customers and they are more likely to request regular service. Big operations with lots of lawns are excellent customers such as hospitals, office buildings, shopping malls, and schools. However, many have their own lawn maintenance crews. And landing a big contract like that can be difficult because this business is highly competitive. How does a lawn care business make money? These businesses charge a monthly service fee or the basic lawn maintenance service and earn additional revenues for any special services provided such as installing new grass sod, fertilization, 
and winter preparation. How much can you charge customers? There are many undocumented workers in the lawn care business, and whether you like it or not, you will be competing against them. Such companies are usually undocumented, pay workers less than minimum wage, have no insurance, and do not pay taxes. Legitimate companies charge at least 150% minimum wage for the amount of time each worker is on their customer's site. So, for example, if the minimum wage is $10 per hour, the charges would be based on the rate of $15 per hour. A set charge per month is usually around $25 for a simple residential lawn that takes under two hours to cut. A commercial business might pay more because of the time needed to cut the lawn. How much profit can a lawn care business make? Lawn care alone on a small scale is not a highly profitable business. Competition is severe because of the low cost of entry and the lack of sophisticated skills needed for this business. Most of the small operators who work in this business do so in order to make a decent living when compared to taking a regular job instead. Typical owner slash operators who work alone are successful, work very hard to make 30000 to 50000 per year. To make more money, a business owner needs to run more than a single crew and offer additional service to existing customers. How can you make your business more profitable? Besides cutting and maintaining lawns, a lawn service business may offer additional service such as snow removal in cold climate areas and landscaping. Landscaping is, a diff is different, yet related business. It includes the installation of pavers, walkways, sidewalks, and retaining walls. It also includes installing water features, ponds, fountains, and waterfalls, and planting trees, shrubs, and flowers. What will you name your business? Choosing the right name is important and challenging. If you don't already have a name in mind, visit how to name a business guide to get help brainstorming a new idea for your business name or lawn care business name generator. If you operate a sole proprietorship, you might want to operate under a business name other than your own name. Visit the DBA guide to learn more. When registering a business name, we recommend researching your business name by checking your state's business records, federal and state trademark records, social media platforms, web domain availability. It's very important to secure your domain name before someone else does. Step two, form a legal entity. The most common business structure types are the sole proprietorship, partnership, limited liability company, LLC, and corporations. Establishing a legal business entity such as an LLC or corporation protects you from being held personally liable for your long care business is sued. Step three, register your taxes. You will need to register for a for variety of state and federal taxes before you can open your business. In order to register for taxes, you will need to apply for an EIN. It's really easy and free. Learn how to get an EIN and what is the EIN guide or find an existing EIN using the EIN lookup guide. Small business taxes. Depending on which business structure you choose, you might have different options for how your business will be taxed. For example, some LLCs could benefit from being taxed as an S corporation. You can learn more about small business taxes in these guides, LLC taxes, sole proprietorship versus LLC, 
LLC versus corporation, LLC versus S Corp, or how to start an S Corp. There are specific state taxes that might apply to your business. Learn more about state sales tax and franchise taxes in your state sales tax guides. Step four, open a business bank account and credit card. Using dedicated business banking and credit accounts is essential for personal asset protection. When your personal and business accounts are mixed, your personal assets, your home, car, and other valuables are at risk in the event of your business is sued. In business law, this is referred to as piercing your corporate bell. Additionally, learning how to build business credit can help you get credit cards and other financing in your business's name instead of yours. Better interest rates, higher lines of credit, and more. Open a business bank account. This separates your personal assets from your company's assets, which is necessary for personal asset protection. It also makes accounting and tax filing easier. Open net 30 accounts. When it comes to establishing your business credit, net 30 vendors are considered the way to go. The term net 30, which is popular among vendors, refers to a business credit arrangement where the company pays the vendor within 30 days of receiving goods or services. Net 30 credit terms are often used for businesses that need to obtain inventory quickly but do not have the cash on hand. Besides establishing business relationships with vendors, Net 30 credit accounts get reported to the major business credit gurus, Dunn and Bradstreet, Experian Businesses, and Equifax Businesses credit. This is how businesses build credit so they can qualify for credit cards and other lines of credit. So it's a really good way to build your credit much faster. Get a business credit card. This helps you separate personal and business expenses by putting your business's expense all in one place. <clears throat> Excuse me. It also builds your company's credit history, which can be useful to raise money and investment later on. <clears throat> step, step five, startup business accounting. Recording your various expenses and sources of income is critical to understanding the financial performance of your business. Keeping accurate and detailed accounts also greatly simplifies your annual tax filing. Step six, obtain necessary permits and licensing. Failure to acquire necessary permits and licensing can result in heavy fines and even cause your business to be shut down. State and local business license requirement. In most states, it is necessary to obtain lawn service license. Learn more about licensing requirements in your state by visiting SBA's reference to state licensing and permits. <clears throat> in, in addition, certain local licensing and regularity requirements may apply for more information about local licensing and permits. Check with your town, city, or county clerk's office. Get assistance from one of the local associations listed in U.S. Small Business Association's Directory of Local Business Resources. Services Contract. Loan care businesses should require clients to sign a services agreement before starting a new project. This agreement could clarify clients' expectations and minimize risk of legal disputes by setting out payment terms and conditions. Here's an exa example service agreement. Recommended Rocket Lawyer makes it easy to create a professional service agreement for lawn care businesses. When you sign up for their premium membership for $39.95 per month, members receive access to hundreds of legal agreements and on-call attorneys to get complimentary legal advice. Step 7. Get business insurance. 
Just as with license and permits, your business needs insurance in order to operate safely and lawfully. Business insurance protect your company's financial well-being in the event of a covered loss. There are several types of insurance policies created for different types of businesses with different risks. If you're unsure of the types of risk that your business may face, begin with general liability insurance. This is the most common coverage that small businesses needed, so it's a great place to start for your business. Another notable insurance policy that many businesses need is workers' compensation insurance. If your business will have employees, it's a good chance that your state will require you to carry workers' compensation coverage. Step eight, define your brand. Your brand is what your company stands for, as well as how your business is perceived by the public. A strong brand will help your business stand out from competitors. If you aren't feeling confident about designing your small business logo, then check out Design Guides for Beginners. It will give you helpful tips and advice for creating the best unique logo for your business. How to promote and market a long care business. Promotional signage on the trucks used for the business is important. If possible, when the truck is not in use, park it on a street with lots of traffic in a place that is highly visible. Using door-to-door -door distribution of discount promotional flyers to residents and businesses is also an effective way to advertise your business. Hand out to your business cards to everyone you meet. If possible, put a promotional sign on all the lawns that you maintain that has your contract, contact information on it. Make sure you have an attractive website that uses the best practices for search engine optimization, SEO, to have a good rank on the search engine results page for local searches. You can also ask your mailman to help distribute distribute your business cards. How to keep customers coming back. Many new customers will come from word of mouth from their existing customers. So be sure to do a great job that pleases your customers. Show up on time according to the schedule work and always clean up meticulously before leaving the job. Never have, never leave a job partially finished or poorly maintained. Check, check in with customers regularly just to see if there is anything extra they need to, you to do. Step nine, create your business website. After defining your brand and creating your logo, the next step is to create a website for your business. While creating a website is an estimable step, some may fear that it's out of their reach because they don't have any website building experience. While this may have been a reasonable fear back in 2015, web technology has since huge advances in the past few years that make the lives of small business owners much simpler. Here are the main reasons why you shouldn't delay building your website. All legitimate businesses have websites, full stop. The size or industry of your business does not matter when it comes to getting your business online. Social media accounts like Facebook pages and LinkedIn business profiles are not a replacement for a business website that you own. Website builder tools like the GoDaddy website builder have made creating a basic website extremely simple. You don't need to hire a website developer or designer to create a website that you can be proud of. Using the website building guides, the process will be simple and painless and shouldn't take you any longer than two to three hours to complete. Step 10, set up your business phone system. Getting a phone set up for your business is one of the best ways to help you keep your personal life and business life separate and private. That's not only the only benefit, it also helps you make your business more automated. Is your business legitimacy? 
and makes it easier for potential customers to find and contact you. There are many services available to entrepreneurs who want to set up a business phone system. We review these top companies and rate them based on price, features, and ease of use. Is the business right for you? The people who succeed in this business enjoy working outdoors in a variety of weather conditions. The temperature varies depending on the season. At times during the summer, it may be very hot in certain locations. This work requires enough physical strength and stamina to be able to lift heavy equipment in and out of a pickup truck and to push the lawn cutting equipment around the yard. People who are friendly and like to talk to people usually are more likely to get customers. It helps to have a good eye for detail and be meticulous in the maintenance work in order to do a good job that customers appreciate. For the very hot days and the sun's rays, it is good to put a roof onto your riding lawnmower. What happens during a typical day at a lawn care business? The days start very early. Before going to customers' job sites, the equipment needs to be inspected and to make sure it is properly working order. Typical activities of this type are cleaning the mowers and sharpening the cutting blades. Additionally, all equipment that uses gasoline needs to be filled with a mixture of gasoline and the appropriate amount of oil required. After all, the equipment has been checked, the trucks are loaded, and, new, and the crews, if any, are assembled and given the day's job orders that have been prepared in advance. The rest of the day is spent working at customer job sites. Naturally, any problems that come up, like truck breakdowns or equipment troubles, need to be dealt with. When the crews return to the office, they should fill out a report of the work completed, making make a note of any special conditions or requests by customers. This information is added to the system for billing purposes and to help in the preparation of future job orders for those customers. I would say it's usually good to fill out these reports after completing the job on site. At the end of the day, equipment should be cleaned and checked for damage to see if it needs repairs. For some owners, operators, these can be very long work days until they can hire enough crew to reduce their workload. What are some skills and experience that will help you build a successful long care business? One way to attract customers is to make your own lawn look spectacular by Practicing on your own lawn, you will be able to learn and the skills need, needed to keep a lawn in perfect condition. All of the information is readily available on the internet, which enables any person interested in this business to be self-taught and improve their skills. What is the growth potential for a lawn care business? Many operations start out with a single person, perhaps one helper and a single pickup truck. The ability to expand depends on the acquisitions of more equipment and being able to hire more crew members. There are very large commercial companies in this business that serve an expansive area. There are national companies as well. Realty Biz gives a list of the top 50 lawn care companies in the USA. True Green is the largest lawn care company in America. They are headquartered in Memphis and serve over 1.7 million residential and commercial cu customers for multiple locations across the country. If you add landscaping services, Valley Crest Landscape Companies is the biggest in the USA with international operations also. They have over 100 locations, more than 10,000 employees and earn up over $1 billion in revenue each year. Not sure if a lawn care business is right for you? Try the free business idea generator and find your perfect idea. Take the next step. Find a business mentor. 
one of the greatest resources an entrepreneur can have is quality mentorship. As you start planning your business, connect with a free business resource near you and get the help you need. Having a support network in place to turn to during tough times is a major factor of a success for new business owners. Learn from other business owners. Want to learn more about starting a business entrepreneurship themselves? Visit Startup Savants. Startup Founder Series to gain entrepreneurial insights, lessons, and advice from founders themselves. Resources help women in business. There are many resources out there specifically for women entrepreneurs. We've gathered, we've gathered necessary and useful information to help you succeed both personally and professionally. Funding, events, guides, and support. If you're a woman looking for some guidance in entrepreneurship, check out this great new series, Women in Business, created by the woman of our partner, Startup Savant. What are some insider tips for jump starting a long care business? Many people get their start in this business by simply cutting lawns for their neighbors. That makes this business the perfect entry level business for young people. There are no educational requirements or certifications necessary. How and when to build a team. Many start out as single workers and owner operators and then add one assistant when the workload increases. You can hire additional crew if the jobs can be found and the necessary equipment is available. Expansion requires capturing more jobs, having available workers, sufficient equipment, and open work time spots for schedule. Make sure to hire documented workers because it is dangerous to use undocumented workers and there are hefty fines, $2,000 per person. I hope you liked this video and you found it to be valuable information. If so, please like and subscribe if you find someone if you know someone that may be interested please share the video or even to your newsfeed as it will help my youtube algorithm so that i get recommended to more viewers like you i'd like to thank you if you watch this full video as that also helps my algorithm and i'll see you next time